Okay, guys, so we got this BMW right here. Um, what is this? What model is this? 525i. They said it, I guess it was at the dealership for months, and they couldn't figure it out. They took it to another dealership. They couldn't figure it out. So we're going to look at it here. Um, they towed it in. Battery was completely dead. I charged it up last week for like two days. Um, I don't know how good it is right now. Let's see, what year is this? This is like an 07, I guess? Yep, 07. Um, I just connected my scan tool up. I never even turned this car on, but I did notice that when I came out and opened the door, there's a steering lock symbol. See that? Um, that's weird. The key don't stay in. Look at that. Okay, so we got it that far. Let's 90 miles till empty. Um, so this is at a quarter tank. Um, let's just do a full system scan right now. Maybe. Hang on a second, let me change something with my recording. There we go. Okay, let's see. So I don't know if this was actually at the dealer. This is just what I'm told. Um, there's a receipt back here. Let's see what this receipt is. This is for tires, but this wasn't for this vehicle because this don't have 20 inch rims that I could see. Okay, let's go. Full system scan. Electronic steering lock malfunction. It's working. Uh -huh. See, so let's save these. Let's go get our license plate real quick. Oh, and the seat's all wet too. I just. Let's see, reshoot. Why is this not picking up? There we go. Save. Let's see. Let's go back. Let's see what happens when we try to start this. So we can't. So there's nothing. I hear the fuel pump turn on. We get no cranking. That's interesting. Let's see, quick erase. Let's erase all these codes because I don't know what we're set just from us.
I'm actually surprised how little codes we have. Is it not going to clear? I'm going to let this clear and then we'll come back. Okay guys, so I scanned the car again. This is all we get. We get this cast fault and this engine starter operation now. I hear the fuel pump, like I said. So I'm wondering if it's like trying to start the car. We can move it in the drive. So that's good when pressing the brake. Um, let's go to Intelligent Diagnose. I don't know. Wait, was it Intelligent Diagnose? Yeah. Intelligent Diagnose. Repair Assist. Here we go. So this is the factory repair information. Let's go into... Where's our... Starter fault. And just start this one. So if we go into this, this should create our de test plan. Hopefully my internet's good enough. So download our test plan with the factory diagrams and everything. Just like Esther would. I'm wondering if we should go after the starter and see if it's commanding the starter. Let's put these windows down a little bit. Okay, so here we go, we got our starter, I mean our cast module, start stop on, they give us a little diagram here, I should have probably clicked on wiring. Hmm. Let's go back into this. Hopefully, I don't have to download again. I don't use this too much. My friend, uh, my friend, uh, what's his name? Uh, Mike Salazar told me about this a couple months ago. I was like, well, this is awesome. I had no idea that this was even in here. Well, there's our starter. Black or white. So I think we'll just check our starter just check our starter um, I think it's underneath the hood is the heavy wire that goes down to the starter heavy white wire so we'll just check that and we'll just see if this thing might have a bad starter or something see, can we start in neutral nope 
Um, so we'll, yeah, we'll go underneath the hood. Oh, I didn't even pop the hood, so we don't even know if this car even has an engine. Wouldn't that be exciting? The car has no engine. Oh, we need a shock. Let me get a shock. I'll get this cover over off over here because that's usually where they are in BMWs, the wires that go down to the starter. And uh, the starter's underneath the intake too. It's like down in there. So we'll see if we can get to the wires and we'll see if we can get this thing to start. Okay guys, it looks like somebody was in here already. Like there's no screws, nothing. So I'm gonna lift this up. Um, I have, I printed out a diagram from Mitchell real quick. So we've got a 50 amp fuse F7. That feeds the car access module, goes to our motor. Okay guys, so I was looking at the diagram right here. Um, go factory diagrams. Um, so it looks like it's supposed to be a 30 amp fuse. It says F7, but there's only a five fuse holder. So I don't know where this 30 amp fuse would be. Um, and then if we look, it goes from red green right there to SW. SW is black. SW is abbreviation for Swartz, which is black. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my power probe we're just gonna go down right down to this wire down here. This white wire, because it's 100% white. You can see it right there. Um, I can see it better in some other spots. Move the light out of the way. Sorry about that. So now if we move the light out of the way, maybe we can move back here. So yeah, I'm going to get the power probe, we're going to go down there, um, we'll pierce the wire with the long probe, and then we'll test it, and we'll see, we'll see if we get power to it, and if not, we can add power to it. Okay, so we're piercing the wire. Let's see if, bad starter, is it really a bad starter? This car was brought here because of a bad starter. Let's get a pry bar, let's tap on the starter. Okay guys, so if I hit the start button, my power broke. Well, yeah, look at this, keep it, it works. Oh, you can see the yeah. little beautiful wasps. Okay guys, we got my test lights set up right here. Um, I'm gonna put the power probe on. It should light, there you go. So they lit, um, that way. Um, so what we're gonna do is, we're going to just hit the start button. Let's see if they light. There you go, you can see they lit up. Look at that. We'll do it again one more time. There you go. Um, so they should be fine. Uh, I think they're coming on slow because they're like going to the power probe. That's uh that's over 15 amps we're putting through them. We're putting through it, so um, I think we should be good. Actually, no, that's that's 20 amps. If if the yes, yeah, 20 amps. So, hope you guys like this. Um, if we get our starter, I'll show you guys doing it. See you guys later. Okay, just one more check. We uh, connected our jumper cables up to ground. Let's see. Let's see if this thing will start now. I just wanted to do a voltage drop check. Nothing. So yeah, 100%. Bad starter. Okay, guys, so the car starts now. I put a new starter and drove it up to my shop. Look at that. Starts up fine. See that? It runs smooth. We have no codes. I have the hood open. But um, I scanned all the modules and uh, we just got a couple codes and other modules for lighting and stuff. But I'm gonna drive this make sure it's good it's been out of inspection for almost a year so i hope you guys like this one see you later